In a recently breaking news report for CNEVPost.com, and as I've mentioned a number of times in the past, BYD will this year supply Tesla with enough batteries for 204,000 electric vehicles at Gigafactory Shanghai. All of these vehicles will have BYD's Blade battery pack. What does this mean for Tesla? What does this mean for buyers of Tesla vehicles with BYD's Blade battery pack? Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia at 4 a.m. on a Sunday morning. This is important enough that I'm up at 4 a.m. to make this video because I think you need to know this information, especially if you're in the market for a new Tesla vehicle, or especially if you've invested in Tesla or invested in BYD. I've invested in both companies. So for those of you who are going to comment in the comments below, you love Tesla. Well, I equally love BYD. So maybe you can write that too. You love Tesla. You love BYD. Add those together. Ah, there you go. Anyway, this news is really interesting because I'm curious as to how they're going to put the BYD Blade battery pack into Tesla's vehicles. I mean, honestly, it would seem to be incompatible with the structure of the Tesla Model 3. So I'm not sure this is how this is going to work. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Regardless, BYD's batteries for Tesla will begin mass production in March. And Tesla cars with the Blade batteries are expected to hit the market in the second quarter, as in within a couple of months. The latest rumors from China are saying. What I find most uh, bewildering about all this news, and honestly, I still can't understand it. How is it that BYD have gone to increase their electric car sales last year by 254%? I mean, 254% in one year. I mean, look at their car electric car sales in January this year. I think they were about 300% higher than they were in January of last year. I don't understand how BYD is going to do this. How are they going to go from building just under 600,000 new energy vehicles last year to one, their goal this year is 1.5 million. But in addition to those 1.5 million electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids, by the way, most of which will be electric. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about what BYD's plans are this year. How they're going to go from doing that, ramping up. So basically, they're going to increase their electric vehicle sales this year by another, what, 70%. Actually, no, it's more like 150%. And then, in addition, build electric cars for Toyota, which is what's happening, and supply Tesla with enough batteries for 204,000 electric vehicles. That sounds like BYD has the capacity for basically 2 million electric vehicles this year. To be honest, it's insane. I don't know how BYD are doing this. I don't know how last year they built so many battery factories in such a short period of time. In China, things happen so much quicker than in America, than in Europe, than in Australia, than in the West, than pretty much anywhere. I don't, I'm amazed. I mean, here's another example. Look at how quickly they built Gigafactory Shanghai. Look at the fact that by December last year, Tesla had become the most productive, I mean, no one's talking about this, but the factory in Shanghai actually became the most productive factory in the world that I know of right now. 840,000 vehicles, their run rate was in December of last year. And of course, they're increasing that run rate, by, run rate by building another production line inside the same factory in order to increase their run rate by the end of April to 1 million vehicles. I honestly don't understand why mainstream media is ignoring this fact. I mean... It's truly staggering. So let's get on to what's actually happening. What are BYD and Tesla doing together? Well, there were several rumors last year that BYD would supply batteries to Tesla, and now the latest rumor provides more information about what's going to happen. Tesla has officially placed orders with BYD's battery making arm, Fin Dreams Battery, for Blade batteries for 204,000 vehicles per year, a longtime BYD follower on the Chinese investment community said today. The batteries. Model C112F will begin mass production in March, this, the user said, adding that Tesla cars with BYD's Blade batteries are expected to hit the market in the second quarter. The user did not provide more information about Tesla's partnership with BYD, but I've reported on that numerous times because it's basically been confirmed. Both companies have been asked and they've just kept quiet. In the past, though, when BYD and Tesla were asked about things that they were doing together, which were just speculation, they denied it. They said, no, that's not happening. 
But in terms of their partnership to supply batteries this year, 10, more than 10 gigawatt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries, Tesla and BYD have is, they've pretty much confirmed it because they've kept quiet about it. Whereas things that aren't happening, they've declined and they've actually come out and said, no, that's not happening. If the rumor eventually proves to be true, it means BYD will supply about 45% of the batteries for Tesla's factory in Shanghai, at least from what they actually produced last year, which was over just around about 450,000 electric vehicles at Shanghai. But obviously we're going to see more than double that this year. So realistically, BYD will provide around about 25% of the batteries Tesla will need for all vehicles coming out of Shanghai. However, however, there's something here that I think is happening. I think what's going to happen is BYD will provide batteries for Tesla in Fremont and in Texas. Why do I say that? Well, currently BYD already operates in the US and Tesla need LFP batteries in the US for their vehicles, for their standard range vehicles. So it would make a lot of sense that their partnership wouldn't just be in China, but would also be in the US. If they can work with BYD to get their batteries to fit their cars in Shanghai, then why can't they do the same thing? It would make logical sense that they do the exact same thing in the United States. Tesla's Shanghai plant had a capacity of 450,000 units last year, but by the end of the year, the capacity was 840,000. After the latest expansion project is completed, Giga Shanghai's annual production capacity is expected to top 1 million units, meaning more than likely this year, they'll deliver around, probably produce around about 950,000 electric vehicles from their factory in Shanghai. Now, at the end of October last year, people close to BYD were cited as saying that BYD had received an order for more than 10 gigawatt hours of LFP batteries from Tesla. The standard range versions of the Model 3 and the Model Y currently produced at Tesla's Shanghai plant use LFP batteries from CATL, which is currently supplying Tesla from a plant a few blocks from Giga Shanghai. Now, for those of you who don't know, BYD has changed the batteries, the LFP batteries in their vehicles this year. I don't know why people are being quiet about it. I think it's big news. The standard range vehicles are clearly the vehicles to buy. They're the only vehicles that Tesla supplies with LFP batteries. And those battery packs have just increased in size and the energy density has increased as well. Plus the cold weather performance has been significantly improved. Plus they're the cheapest cars and the batteries last for the longest by far in terms of the number of cycles you can get out of them. So if it was me, that's the vehicle that I would be buying. This is the vehicle the masses are gonna be buying. Eventually, yes, I know the prices will come down. There's no question about it. Tesla will continue to be able to reduce prices for their vehicles. The average cost price for Tesla to make all their vehicles last year was around about 35,000 US dollars, but that includes Tesla Model S Plaid. That includes Tesla Model S, Model X. I think the average price for Tesla to build a Model 3 is around about 25,000 US dollars, meaning they could easily bring the price down to 35,000 US dollars and still make a decent profit. I think that's what will happen for the standard range vehicles eventually once supply catches up to demand, which eventually it will. Tesla is hinting that its US plant and future European plants will use LFP batteries for both the standard range Model 3 and the Model Y, the person said, adding that BYD, which already has a plant in the US, has a better chance of winning in terms of supplying Tesla. In addition to that, many people think that Tesla will use LFP battery chemistry in their 4680 battery cells. Not at the start, but eventually it would make sense. Neither BYD nor Tesla has acknowledged or denied these rumors, which is very telling, I think. In addition, according to information shared today, FinDreams has secured partnerships with over 30 other automotive OEMs, including commercial vehicle manufacturers in the past year alone. Besides battery supply, the user said that BYD's engine division, FinDreams powertrain's DHT300 dual motor hybrid powertrain system, known as BYD's DMI system, has also secured external customers. Now for BYD and members of the FinDreams battery family, these are business breakthroughs from zero to one, the user said, adding that what is more exciting is to look forward to the future where an expansion goes from one to 10 and then to 100. In other words, what they're saying is BYD has goals to become 100 times the size of they are now. That to me seems over, overly optimistic and I'm, I'm certainly the optimist when it comes to electric cars and batteries and the future. But honestly, I love that they're aiming for the moon. Aim for the moon, aim for the stars, you hit the moon, great. 
I think that's what they're doing. But regardless of that, let's look at the facts. What have they done over the last 12 months? They've done more than anyone else in terms of expanding their company. They've, they've transitioned their business from being, well, half of it being ICE to being just almost a fully electric car company. Less than 2% of the vehicles they sold in January were gas powered, less than 2%. A year ago, that number was closer to 50. That my friends is a transformation I love seeing. And let me know in the comment section below, Will you buy a vehicle with LFP batteries or NCM or NCA chemistry batteries or lithium ternary batteries? Which one would you prefer if you could choose? And both vehicles had a similar range. When I say similar range though, what I mean is really your NCA, NCM chemistry batteries, you don't really want to charge them to 100%. LFP, you should. So 80% of the range of your ternary battery you can use, compare that to the 100% range of the LFP. Now, which one will you choose? Especially when you know that LFP battery is going to last a lot longer.